Well, good day to everyone. I originally saw this anomaly on another YouTuber's site over on BP Earthwatched. Uh, I think he called it Cross in the Heavens or something like that. And I thought it was an interesting shape or an emission to make. So I came and looked at it myself. And I thought you and I could go over this together. And we'd enlarge it and examine it and see what we thought. If you have not already seen it upon his site, then I'll go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. As you can see, it was the 5th of the month. I backed it up and started it. You'll see a flare come out here. We'll step it up. And you can actually see it begin to form. But it is a strange formation. See, it's starting to make, starting to make something that looks kind of like a, a cross, a crucifix. The farther you step it up, it kind of fades away. We go all the way here to 1639, 54, and it starts blowing away. You see, you go to 1709, and then it jumps up two hours. We're going to look at this a little bit. What do you think that is? You think it's just a play on the gases and the energy and everything? It does look very strange, though, doesn't it? You think it's a crucifix? Do you think it's a sign? What do you think it is? A little more blurry the farther up we go. You know, back it up some. Not quite as defined when you get back that far. A little bit more so defining there. It's taking a little shape, whatever it is.
Well, there it is, folks. Magnified it pretty good for you. It's up to you to decide for yourself. what it is or what it isn't. So I'm going to leave a link. You can see what viewing system is being used in the video. You can see the time of the frame to look upon. You can see it's stereo ahead, core 2. See the approximate time I stopped it on, so you know where to come, you know where to go. You can check it out yourself and play around with the movie maker. When you come on there, though, you want to put it on slideshow, and I've got this set for 512 pretty good, fairly good clarity. So, BP provoked my thought, and if you'd never seen this before, I'll provoke your thought now. So may the Lord bless you. We have some times coming upon us that are not going to be good. You still see what you see. You see the stock market with new highs, but you don't feel it getting better for you. It's getting better for those that manipulate things so they can get richer and richer and more control. You see the president releasing five bad guys, apparently termed some of the baddest of the bad that were held at Guantanamo. And from what I'm understanding, Apparently they were released several days before Taliban released this, what looks to be like a deserter. You still hear them clamoring about global warming, aka climate change. And you still see Obama wanting to implement his plan which is going to, as he said in the video, necessarily cause energy prices to skyrocket. Those are his words, not mine. His own admission upon interview was that he knew his energy plan would necessarily make energy prices skyrocket. When they skyrocket, it affects you and me. We have to pay more of our money. And we have to pinch ourselves and cut back on as much stuff as we can to afford the higher prices. You've seen the higher prices in food. They say that housing prices are climbing. They say this is a good thing.
Well, I say a decrease in prices is a good thing. Things that are made more affordable for you, because if your paycheck is not increasing at least equal to the amount of rise in the cost of everything, or more than the rise of the cost of everything, then it is not good for you, and it is not good for me, and we are falling backwards. You still got 50 million people almost on food stamps. It hasn't got better for them. You see the VA scandal. Of course, he said, you know, the D Day, can't say celebration, D Day remembrance. He acts like he appreciates veterans, but he doesn't. He could use his so called executive authority that he uses to sidestep Congress on everything else that he pushes through. And he could let all these guys go to regular hospitals immediately. Right now. But he's not doing it. You've had the IRS scandal. Remember what he said? These are not scandals, these are phony scandals. Don't believe any of them. He should be impeached. But you don't see any of your politicians doing it, do you? Yeah, you hear a few of them saying that he should be, that there's cause that he could be, that there's evidence that they could use that he could be, that he's broken the law and he could be, but you don't see any of them doing it. Because they all play for the same team. You got a few good ones, but they're so outnumbered, it doesn't matter what they say, because they can't, they can't fight it. It's like one against 199. They can't do anything. Pray for the entire world, even these scumbags that throw all the evil at us. We're commanded by God to love our neighbors, our brothers, even even these portrayers of evil. Because even so, their soul is valuable to God just as ours. He doesn't want them to go to hell. He wants them to come back, turn around, stop doing the evil, repent from what you've done. There's always a chance that they can, but they gotta want to do it first. So even though they're persecuting us in every way, possible shape and form, even though they're practicing their Kabbalah, even though they're receiving powers from demons, from hell, from Satan himself, and even though all that's going on, we still got to pray for them. Because if we don't, We'll be asked why we didn't. We'll be asked why we didn't love our neighbor as they were commanded to do. And you have to follow what the Lord asks of you. You have to follow his teachings. You have to follow his commandments. You yourself, if you're involved in anything bad, you have to turn away from it. That's what repentance is. Stopping doing the bad things and the evil that you're doing. Stopping watching the porn, stopping going to the strip bars, stopping smoking the weed and the dope, different kinds of dope that you do. Stopping getting drunk, and drunkard will not enter heaven. You have to stop these things and turn them back away from them and be sorry for them and try as hard as you can not to do them. That's what an individual has to do. So... I'll speak to y'all soon, but think about what that is, really. Maybe. Possibly.